Masters in management or MIM programs have been incredibly popular over the years because they are exact replicas of the MBA in terms of an education without requiring the 4-5 years of work experience that foreign MBAs usually require. Though the MIM is very popular among European schools, the US also has some very prominent MIM programs in terms of job opportunities. In fact, a lot of these programs are better than their European counterparts in terms of return on investment. In today's video, I'm going to cover the finest MIM programs in the US in terms of job opportunities and return on investment. So stay tuned. I am Srikar Sanaparedi and I am the co-founder of Gradwine. Over the last seven years, Gradwine students have made it to the finest universities in the world over, with over 98% of them making it to a top 50 university for their program. Now, before I start my list of the top MIM programs in the USA, you have to understand why we pick these programs. The one single common critical factor among all of these programs is that they are STEM designated. Now, as you know, if you get a program that is STEM designated, you get a three-year OPT in the US during which you can stay back and work. And with the H-1B lottery as well, where your name goes into the lottery once per year, because of the three-year extension, your likelihood of getting the H-1B and working for a longer period of time in the US is much higher. Therefore, it is the STEM designation that makes these degrees incredibly valuable. And some of these have gained that accreditation only very recently. The first university I'm going to talk about is a place that all of you would have heard of. Northwestern University, which houses the Kellogg School of Business. Needless to say, this is one of the finest business schools in the world with a brand name that will serve you well in the years to follow. Northwestern MIM graduates have been reporting salaries around the $80,000 mark, which is fairly decent considering the MIM degree. It has the STEM designation and the brand name, so you'll be in a good place if you make it to Northwestern. Another advantage with Northwestern's MIM program is that it accepts undergrads from all majors. Now, don't be a little confused. Throughout this video, I'll be talking to you about programs which don't accept undergrads who have a business major. So if you have a BBA, you're not eligible for some of these programs, but for Northwestern, you have no problem. The second university I'm going to talk about is the University of Chicago. And I'm sure you've heard of this university as well because it houses the very, very reputed Booth School of Business. The University of Chicago grads have also been reporting salaries around $80,000 on average. However, the University of Chicago does not accept business undergrad majors for their Masters in Management program. Moving on, we have an Ivy League school. And I'm talking about Cornell University with the Johnson School of Management. Cornell's MPS in Management program is just another name for an MIM and it's a STEM designated program as well. Cornell grads have been reporting salaries in the range of $70,000 to $80,000 on an average. This program also accepts all undergraduate majors. Now I'm going to talk to you about a very popular program that's been around for a long time. I am referring to Duke's MMS program, the Master of Management Studies. Duke's MMS has been around perhaps longer than any of the other programs that I've mentioned and is accepting of all undergraduate majors. This STEM designated program has seen graduates reporting salaries in the region of $70,000 on an average. All right, so far I've mentioned all top tier schools and you might be worried that these might be a little too hard to get into right? Well, don't worry, we've had hundreds of candidates make it to these programs with a variety of profiles. If you want a shot at them, then you can click on the free consultation call with Gradwine using the link in the description. Now, of course, to serve all interests, I'm going to talk to you about universities which are slightly lower down the pecking order. And I'm talking to you now about Georgetown's McDonough School of Business. Now, Georgetown McDonough is a very underrated business school and has great career outcomes. This STEM designated program accepts undergrads from a variety of different backgrounds with no bar on business undergrads and graduates have been reporting salaries in the region of $70,000 on average. Moving on, we have Notre Dame's Mendoza School of Business. Notre Dame is an outstanding university and a very well-reputed business school and its MIM program is STEM designated too. Now, this program, however, does not accept undergrads with business majors and salaries on average have been around the $70,000 a year mark. To round off this list, we have Boston University, a slightly safer school to have on your list. Average salaries around the 70,000 mark and accepts undergrads from all different majors. Now, these are my recommendations for STEM designated MIM programs in the US and the STEM designation is critical if you want a job after you graduate. Of course, there are some good non-STEM designated programs such as the ones at Northeastern which you can consider as well. But my recommendation is to stick to STEM designated MIMs. If you found this video useful, please do like, share and subscribe. If you want help with the many essays that you have to face during the MIM applications, we at Gradwine have the ultimate expertise. So sign up with us soon. If you want a list of these universities with one or two more options which I have not mentioned here, then please comment helpful below and we'll share that list with you.